and then you select a university. So in the option of a university, you'll find two universities. There's UON and University of Lagos. So the idea is also you know, to expand to other tertiary institutions in Africa. So you'll choose UON because you're UON students, and then it will take you to campuses. So for campuses, we have the 10 campuses are uh, showed there, which are Gwe Kenech. Kenech is our campus. Then you move to the next, uh, it will be asking you your date of birth. That's the date, month, and the year. You select the gender as per your preference, and then you set up a password for you. So this is different from the SMIS one. Does that make sense? Are you together? Okay, so this will, after that, you would sign up and then it will take you to the Randa dashboard. Now, this is the final stage where you access all the things we mentioned from the student information, uh, radar counseling, forums, some notifications, contacts, and uh, student mentorship. Uh, we focus on counseling because this is uh, now very important to us. There's a, a, a catalog for student counselors in the university. So as, 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 as they improve rather up and the experience of the app, they rely on feedback from users. So once you engage with a counselor, which is anonymous, if you feel satis satisfied that you've been assisted, you'll be given the opportunity to rate their services. Okay? And then it will show to sort of recommend you know, this counselor to other students who are using the app. Okay, so people with higher ratings probably will be getting more, uh, like more, more, more requests. Uh, for example, I mentioned Elizabeth. Elizabeth is one of the high rated, highly rated uh, counselors. Uh, her picture is showing. So if you tap on her, it opens conversation. So there's like two, two sides, uh, conversations and then these counselors. If you tap on the counselor, it takes you back to the conversations. Now this is an open chat with them where you engage with them and then, uh, I don't know, it's very clear, that was me trying to say hello to one of the counsellors. They haven't responded yet. Um, it's one week. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm hoping they would respond at some point. Uh, maybe I can give them a, a two-star. Yes, for, no, <laughs> for the delay in responding. You know, um, I might be having a very urgent problem and then <laughs> I was left by my own. And for student forums, like I mentioned, there's a... Um, a couple of things, uh, mental health, campus trends, there's a, I think this is a drug substance abuse, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is one of the initiatives that was supported by UNESCO. UNESCO is also uh, a funder for the development of the app. Um, last year, I think in October, that was when I was trained and onboarded as, as a champion there was a campaign, the 16 days activism against GBV. You guys are aware? It was like 16 days leading to the World AIDS Day on 1st of December. So the 16 days prior to it, we were mobilizing students across all the campuses, the 10 campuses, uh, pushing the health drive where we were pushing for mass HIV testing, um, breast cancer screening, cervical cancer screening, you know, those other tests such as uh, blood glucose, blah, blah, blah. I think some of the students uh, showed up. There's a challenge with the FHS, especially with mobilization. Uh, I think the schedules are so tight, but you manage to pull a good number uh, later in the afternoon. I think uh, this picture, not very clear, but some of them are, majority of them are medicine students. Um, there there's Naskatana, there's our assistant dean of students, the retired one, previous one, Dr. Hunoza. The assistant dean of students. She was the counselor. Yes, Dr. Nyawira. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, so whoever's giving points, um, you can have a bias towards them. Yeah. Right now, who knows the current dean of, assistant dean of students in the faculty? I'm working on Team Red. The assistant dean of students. The one who replaced Dr. Nyawira. Yeah, that's a hint. Who knows his name? Tim Blue? <laughs> in answer, M. 
Okay. I think it's a it's a question, yeah? It should be. Um Yeah, you're close. It's uh Mr. Mr. Mutinda. Mr. Mutinda. So this is what we did, uh my health drive. And uh we were also interviewed by UNESCO and our article got featured in the website. So this is uh I think that's a bit of the story, the mobilization and everything, how it turned out. Um, that's my testimonial. And then, uh, yes, so briefly, I mentioned there are a couple of partners who are supporting the app. Yeah, there are areas of intersection, uh, and this is where O3 Plus comes in. I think this is a very common thing. And uh, you guys must have heard about it. Information is usually sent via our school email, so it's a common thing. So UNESCO launched this project for young people. Again, it falls in uh, side by side with the radar app thingy. Um, I mentioned MKU and UN are priority. And of course, in line with uh, SDG, SDG, good health and well-being, quality education and gender equality. Okay, Some of the objectives include uh, institutional strengthening. And in institutional strengthening, UN is trying to not to improve with regards to their curriculum. They are trying to incorporate SRHR into the curriculum, um, sort of operationalize the you know, uh, life skills teaching. I know we don't do life skills, but other campuses do life skills. And uh, I think also HIV, is a unit for HIV. So they are trying to you know, push for those. And um, the other bit is with regards to well-being. Now for well-being, uh, it cuts across health, so some of the things they've done so far is training champions like me. There are a couple of champions. I think yeah, five MBCHB has one champion, Anetwa Ross Muturi. Level three, there is uh, Frank Baraka Amsun. The previous year we had, I think two from farm school, and uh, I think one from med. I don't remember well. So they, they they have been doing this continuously. Even last week they were training more. Champions, so it's something that uh, is ongoing as they try to you know, look at sustainability of the project. And then the other thing is uh, radar app activation, which is why I'm here to you know, encourage you to sign up and activate on the app. And then uh, HIV testing. Uh, I think Bridget informed me there's uh, plans for mass testing on 29th. So that's also one thing that the university is trying to you know, push for, and the partners that are working with the university. Um, and then definitely a scorecard tool to rate the services that UHS is giving. So that's something which is coming up. Uh, it will give you an opportunity to, when you go to the clinic, uh, if you're not satisfied with the services, just let them know. So, um, safe and inclusive campus, I mentioned about security and all. Recently, there was a launch of the gender-based violence desk at the student's clinic, just near the labs. There's a desk that has been set up there. The university has also been doing legal aid clinics. There's one that's uh, in December, hosted by the Portland campus, where you're taught on the legal aspect now of SRHR, GBV, and all that. In regards to evidence building and knowledge sharing, it's just on you know uh, champions or people who, like you, students who are, in, are interested with SRHR, writing abstracts and presenting them maybe on platforms that, you know, so they are encouraging that. Uh, so far, I think, they are trying to invest in the training so that people understand you know, what to write on, how to, rep uh, to present, and all that. Um, so this is just a summary of what was happening last week. This is uh, a training for some champions. The O3 Plus project is East Africa and South Africa. So there's Zambia, there's uh, Uganda, South Africa. And then I mentioned there's a podcast option on the app. So the podcast is O3 Plus podcast that has been hosted on Radar app. So there's information on uh, everything that we've talked about from SRHR to drug and substance abuse to campus, whatever, everything. So it's about 60 episodes each, I think five minutes. So it's easier to listen to in one sitting. Yeah, yes. Um, so here, I don't know uh, how many people had the app previously before today. Yes, one, two. Before today. <laughs> yeah, only two. 
So yeah, okay. Um, have you? Uh, I've Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I wanted to get feedback from them. That is uh, <laughs> the area. And uh, hey, uh, what feedback from your experience using the app? What challenge? Like what gap have you noticed? Yeah, um, so I'm asking this because it's, it's, it's a concern, and that's why I think also Gilead came through, and that gave us this big opportunity, you know. Um, it, it would have been them, but they've given us the opportunity to share this. Uh, we, the, the idea is to improve, and uh, how to you know, improve on this is getting feedback from you. There's, uh, there's been, it has been noted, uh, let's say from that experience, that you know, uh, once people have activated, a few minutes uh, or a few days, they uninstall. So the numbers go up, a few days they go down. So there's that fluctuation. Okay? So like it's so stable and they'd want to know, you know why is that happening. So once I get this feedback and I think we connect this with uh, uh, Bridget and the team, we can share this with the developers and then they improve. So, so initially they did have Kenish campus and something that has been you know, added to it. So it's progressively being improved. So, so, even the information available, let's say for SRHR, it might not, it might be general, but you want specifics. Yeah. So those are the feedback we would be taking back. And um, this is us last Saturday, on 22nd, we were doing a sensitization um, with a few of people I recruited <laughs> from farm school because it's easier for me that way. And uh, we had a session here where we had a panel discussion. We talked about SRHR, um, mental health. We talked about um, drug and substance abuse. Felix was one of the panelists, and he came in very handy. Uh, so you can clap for him. <laughs> yes, Felix has always been supportive. Um, even initially, I think we hosted. A Twitter space in December, he came through, we had a conversation and it attracted a lot of people. And uh, no, that's something we'd like to keep on doing. Uh, maybe he has a project, I think, for SRHR champions in the faculty. You can you know, support him <laughs> to, to you know, share uh, this information with us. He also shared with us about STIs and uh, you know, HIV consent. is very valuable, very knowledgeable. Yes, so as I conclude, important stuff to note is that uh, we need you know, people to show interest, um, activate the app, share, encourage people to you know, explore the app and then uh, we'll probably be in a better place going forward. And of course the, the podcast, I mentioned it's like five minutes episodes and I said I listened to all of them. Um, so it's, 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 it's important so that you get feedback, now you take this back and then it's uh, on update. So thank you so much um, to Gilead, of course, for this opportunity. On behalf of Radar App, um, uh, this is something we'd uh, not, not take for granted. Um, of course, the other partners who are not here, and then uh, the University of Nairobi for you know, continuously giving us the platform. I think that would be it from me. Do I take questions? OK.
thank you, Sylvanas. Um, isn't it great that you have an app developed by the students and for the students, right? Um, please note, it doesn't come from the dean's office, and that's why you log in with your registration. We don't have access to the information that is there, so it's all student-led. Now, when Gilead came in last year, um, some of the areas that Sylvanas has pointed out is where we are supporting, and it's good to get this feedback. Thank you for those who have downloaded the information, and uh, we look forward to more feedback so that we can do the improvement, because one of the things I know on a, some documents somewhere is the issue of prompts to the counselors, so that then you don't get frustrated, because when you want a counselor, you want to talk to them immediately. So we hope that that will be one of the um, uh, developers working to improve that and other areas so that we make it more friendly and much, much better. But congratulations to you for the good work that you keep on doing. And uh, on behalf of Gilead, we wish you the very best. Uh, we had the opportunity of meeting with Ruby, Bridget, and a few others uh, earlier on. And you have a great team and you're in good hands. We are only here to hold your hand and to listen to what you want. So all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's appreciate um, Silvana's better. Makofi Kwate. So um, that's true. I've interacted with Silvanas and the O3 project guys a couple of times. And it's wonderful work they're doing. And especially now that it's student-led. This is an app that was developed by the students. They took it to the administration. It became a thing. Then from there it's growing. So just show your support. Download the app. Then try and use it. Uh, prompt those counselors and all that. And then um, hopefully we can have even more. Even coming from... Um, I'm, a, I'm sure we have very creative and tech-savvy guys here. We can also come up with many solutions for the problems that